I was looking at the people who are undecided. The reason Johnson and Stein are getting support is really, and if you look at the favorability, people don't people don't really know either candidate on the on the uh, on the favorability. Johnson only has a 15 percent favorable and a 25 unfavorable. Stein has a uh, a seven uh, a seven percent favorable and a nine percent unfavorable. Um, so you know you look at you look at those numbers and you say, well, they're not voting for you know uh, Stein and Johnson. And the reason is because the undecided voters have a high unfavorable for both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. 69% unfavorable for Hillary Clinton, 91% unfavorable for Donald Trump. Now, that looks really bad for Donald Trump, but there we also looked at the subset of people who dislike both. And these might be, these haters might be the people who decide the election. If you look at the people who dislike both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, and by the way, that's like one in five voters, one in five <laughs> likely voters. Okay. In this poll, it was 18%. But of that group, Trump actually led uh, Hillary Clinton 26% to 19%. Wait, say that one more time. For those so that look, hate both of them. That's right. Well, well, or say unfavorable to both of them. We call them the haters, yep. which represents about one in five voters. Of just that group of voters, Trump leads Clinton 26% to 19%. In, in, that they're, in, in that they would vote for him or that they hate him more? That they would vote for him. Okay. So we're, we're basically saying, okay, uh, we know that, we know from, you know, cross tabulation that you dislike Clinton. We know that you dislike both Clinton and Trump. Now the question is, okay, you got to vote for somebody. You said you were a likely voter at the beginning of this poll. So who are you going to vote for? And we and, and, and we gave them the choices. 26% chose Trump, 19 Clinton, 44% were undecided, no surprise there, and 11% refused to respond.